Leo was born in Tuscany, in Italy. He reigned as Pope from 440 to 461. At this time, Attila, called the Scourge of God, with his hordes of Huns, invaded Italy. Having conquered the city of Aquileia, after a three-year siege, Attila marched towards Rome. Moved with pity for the suffering people, Leo went out to meet him. Leo's pleadings persuaded the invader to leave Rome untouched. People wanted to know how the humble conduct of the Pope could change Attila's mind. Attila declared that while Leo addressed him, he had become frightened at the sight of a person in priestly robes, who stood nearby with a bared sword, threatening his life should he disobey Leo's commands. Leo was devoted to St. Peter. Later, when Genseric entered Rome, Leo's sanctity and eloquence again saved the city. Seeing the Husies which were attacking the church, Leo called the Council of Chalcedon and condemned them. The council exclaimed, Peter has spoken by the mouth of Leo. The holy pontiff built many churches. He left many letters and writings of great historical value. Pope St. Leo is surnamed the Great a doctor of the church, died on April 11th, 461. St. Leo the Great's feast day is November 10th. O oh God, you established your church on the solid rock of St. Peter, and you will never allow the powers of hell to dominate her. Grant that she may persevere in your truth and enjoy continual peace through the intercession of Pope St. Leo.